Dominica's Prime Minister congratulates Venezuela's President Hugo Chavez on his victory at Sunday's general elections. About $20,000 raised for the national fight against cancer and Discover Dominica Authority launches new promotional video. Welcome to National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Jana Hector. Thank you for joining us. In the headlines, designs submitted for apartments to be constructed in Bavi State and Emsor. And over 500 participated in a walk against cancer last weekend. Stay with us as we bring you details of these stories and more when National Focus returns. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. A Prime Minister, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, has congratulated Venezuela's President, His Excellency Hugo Chavez, for his victory at Sunday's general elections. A Venezuelan President has been re-elected to another six-year term after defeating opposition leader Enrique Capriles, the Electoral Council said. According to official results on Sunday, the 58-year-old Chavez took 54.42% of the vote, with 90% of the ballots counted, to 44.97% for young opposition candidate Capriles. The National Electoral Council president reported that 81% of the nearly 19 million registered voters casted ballots, one of the largest turnouts in years. Chavez won more than 7.4 million votes, beating Capriles more than 1.2 million votes. Dominic has benefited significantly from its relations with the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt spoke with GIS News on Monday. I would like to, on behalf of the government of Dominica uh, and the people of Dominica, to congratulate President Chavez and the United Socialist Party of Venezuela on his resounding victory at the polls on Sunday uh, past. Clearly, this is a reaffirmation of the confidence which the citizens of Venezuela have in the uh, programs and philosophy of President Chavez. Uh, I mean, it, it is a time when uh, incumbent governments are having tremendous difficulty in regaining power, and President Chavez has been able to do so for a resounding uh, victory. Uh, there has been tremendous opposition uh, externally for his approach of, of governance, but I believe our focus should be on what the people of Venezuela think. And they, they, they go into the poll in a very organized, uh, in a free and fair manner, and re-electing him is, is, is a clear indication of the, of the support for the work that he has done. The Dominica leader is looking forward to the further deepening of relations between Dominica and Venezuela in the years ahead. We look forward to the strengthening and the deepening of that relationship uh, between, between ourselves. And also at the petro caribbean Alba levels, uh, we look forward to, to deepening our relationship with Venezuela and the hemisphere. Uh, because with the election of President Chavez, it will bring, it will certainly bring um, a greater sense of stability in respect to advancing a number of integration uh, projects and programs that we've started over the last several years. The Prime Minister Skerritt believes that victory at Sunday's polls has dealt a major blow to the many critics of the Venezuelan leader. Criticizing somebody for what he's doing for the poor people um, will never gain any weight in the political uh, consideration of the electorates. Um, we have known that President Chavez has been criticized heavily, even here in Dominica, by the opposition forces, um, that they have criticized President Chavez heavily for his approach to, towards helping poor people. And under President Chavez, reports have shown that poverty has dropped dramatically in Venezuela. And um, his, his, also, his willingness to also share the, the resources uh, which Venezuela has with other countries it is something of, 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 of great note. 
Um, so we're very excited that, that this phase of his, um, of his um, political struggle uh, is over, at least for, for the next um, few years. The Discover Dominica Authority has released a new promotional video dubbed Are You Breathing Dominica? The video features the Whitey Kubuli National Trail, rivers, waterfalls, wellness activities like yoga and massage, and also highlights local farmers, foods, eco-resorts, and local talents. The objective of the production of this new promotional video was to promote the health and wellness sector in Dominica. It has already made a big hit on the internet. Within the first two days online, it reached over 2,000 views. The video was produced by Link International Productions, a local company with over 15 years' experience. A Prime Minister, Honorable Roosevelt Scarrett, wants more students to be exposed to comprehensive visual and performing arts programs in schools. The Prime Minister made the comment as he addressed the annual Excellence in Education Awards at the Arab House of Culture last week. Honorable Scarrett is convinced that this initiative will ensure a youth population that is well balanced. It is my belief that our children need to be presented for a real wrong need package at schools that places a necessary focus on academics, but also gives them the opportunity to expand their interest into meaningful extracurricular activities. Honorable Scare referenced a cultural exposition for schools as one avenue to make students well balanced. The Prime Minister, who is also Minister for Finance, pledged $50,000 earlier this month towards the expo, which he expects will be launched in 2013. On a similar note, the Prime Minister announced at the awards ceremony that the education system relies too heavily on the use of textbooks and written exams. Honorable Skerritt believes that students should be taught lessons that can develop their personal skills. The Prime Minister noted that students, for example, need to be taught the art of public speaking. It is my respectful view that we allow students to buy too many textbooks in Dominica. And that the, the books, in my respectful view, are changed too often. And we need to have more of a, of a move towards an oral education so that our children can learn to, to stand in a crowd of 5, 50, 500, or 50 million people and speak without fear of anything. I think our system is to get towards written examinations. And therefore, we should have more oral examinations in our school system. Prime Minister Skerritt solicited the help of educators to fashion a generation of youth that will excel both academically and vocationally. In other news, the government of Dominica has received designs from a Chinese construction firm for the construction of apartment buildings in Bafa State and Emsol. This was confirmed by Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt on Monday during an interview with GIS News. The government has identified two locations. Uh, one in Emsol and one in Baffer State. The Emsol location is the um, plot of land where the Wesley High School would have been constructed. And the other um, location in Baffer State is where the, where the old housing division um, uh, was located. Um, so there are two locations. The designs that we have uh, have indicated that we could get about 60 apartment units, two and three bedroom apartment units. And I have asked the Chinese uh, um, firm to review the designs with a view to saying whether we couldn't get an additional 10 more uh, to take it up from 60 to 70. A Prime Minister Skerritt says this project is a very important one for his administration. A family earning $1,200 a month, having to pay $900 out of that for rent, having three children at school, having to pay bus fare, uh, telephone bills, water bill, light bill. There's no way that family can survive, even if family has a job. You understand, and our hope, our view is this: with the construction of the housing apartments, we will not only allow for better quality housing for the people, so to bring a sense of pride to the family, to the children, but we will also reduce um, the the amount of money that people pay for rent. And the whole idea is to is to rent to own, so that the people who are paying this rent will not be paying into a bottomless um, 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 Pete as well. They will be put, the, the, the money they pay will, will accumulate 
to the point where they would have ended up paying for the apartment altogether. And for example, if somebody's paying, let's say, $900 now for rent, the idea is to bring this payment to about $450, $400. So the person has $500 now, he, can, he or she can, can, can buy food, he and she can save and take care of the family. Meantime, government's housing revolution program moves to another level on Tuesday. Prime Minister Kerry told GIS News on Monday that keys will be handed over to residents of the Cairo Territory to houses financed by the People's Republic of China. Um, that is on top of what we built for, um, from, from, um, from um, the Venezuelan government, funded from the Venezuelan government, and also signing several contracts under the Caribbean um, CDB, the Caribbean Development Bank Loan Facility. Um, the capacity building project in the Caribbean territory. So, so there are a number of things that are happening in this country, and all of those things are happening in a t at a time when the world, the world is in, is in a serious crisis. I mean, uh, uh, we have, we've been affected. We have our revenue has dropped, but we are committed to addressing the issues confronting the confronting our citizens, notwithstanding the global and domestic crisis I would, I mean, that we're facing in, in so far as a, the, the finances of the, of the world are concerned. About $20,000 was raised last Saturday to support the fight against cancer in Dominica thanks to a fundraising walk and rally organized by the Dominica Cancer Society. Two groups totaling about 500 children, youth and adults converged on the Windsor Park Stadium after walking from Massac and Point Michel respectively. GIS News was a part of that activity, and we caught up with a few walkers who shared their thoughts. I'm working for all the survivors and those who have passed on. Oh, I think it should be annually. Should have a walk like that to raise um, public awareness, you know, for cancer, and you know, to build um, support for those, you know, who are living with cancer because they really need the help that you know they need for chemo and all the you know, medical expenses. So that's why I'm supporting the work today. I think that everybody should take a stand and stand up towards cancer because cancer is a really bad thing. My grandfather, Mr. Trini, died from cancer in 2007. Nowadays, the diagnosis of cancer is not necessarily a death sentence. And um, you really just have to exercise your faith, leave everything up to God and try to do what you think is right in terms of your diet, in terms of the things that you think can do, you can do to assist you to beat the disease. So it's, it's really no longer a death sentence. Well, many other people, in, um, people passing the vehicles, stopping and looking, so I think that, that is a good idea. I, I, I even brought my, 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 my cap from Australia. It's, it's a cancer cap from Australia, so I, I would hope that it can, it can, it can further um, cause people to be aware of, of all the problems with cancer facing us. And um, so, many, so many of our good friends and family have, have succumbed to that, to that disease, so hopefully a cure will be around the corner. We are very happy. Apparently our message is going through. Early intervention saves lives and people are catching it. Let's hope they can carry the refrain around the country. That is our message. Very few people today, you know, uh, um, how should I call that, do not have somebody that has been actually challenged with cancer, directly or indirectly. And um, we are very glad that people came out. And like, like I said, you know, the response is very good. Many people are not aware that there's a high incidence of cancer in Dominica. Um, we don't know exactly what's causing it, but it's something to be concerned about. It's something that um, we need to be more aware of and take the necessary steps. In other words, um, check into it early so that if in fact there is something that it can be we can, they can take care of it much earlier than what happens sometimes. Because what happens sometimes, especially with men, is that they don't get checked. And by the time they check, it's kind of late and then it becomes more complicated. So hopefully, as we march, um, as we spread the word, that it will heighten the, way, the awareness and that people will begin to check into their health as it relates to cancer much earlier than they're doing right now. Health Minister Honorable Julius Timothy was one of the 500 and shared his perspective on the walk. I am very impressed. We have about 200 people living in the Point Michel area and another 300 from the Massac area. So we, in there we have about 500 people. The unfortunate part of it though, it's about 80 to 90 percent women. You know, men, we don't want to take these things seriously. You know, we think we can take care of ourselves, but the reality has shown that it is not true. We have no victims of our own progress because we don't walk anymore. The shortest distance, brother me goes in his vehicle, he doesn't want to walk. You know, 
if they go to the supermarket, they might want to park right in front of the supermarket. Nobody wants to walk. And as a result, we have diabetes, we have all kinds of things plaguing us now. So we have to know, okay, you have your vehicles, yes, use it. But if, for instance, you work in government headquarters and you have something to do in Roseau Central, leave the car there and walk. At the Winter Park Stadium, those who participated in the walk were entertained by brief remarks, performances and testimonials. Health Minister Honorable Julius Timothy addressed the rally and spoke of his ministry's plans for cancer treatment in Dominica. Honorable Timothy named a cancer care center as part of plans for the near future. I want you to know that I have heard your plea for people to be able to access the treatment they need even if they cannot afford it. I compliment the Dominica Cancer Society in their untiring advocacy for those who are underprivileged. The ministry is inundated with requests for help, and we are doing our best to prioritize and assist whenever we can. We partner with the Private Sector Foundation and the Bishop Bogart's Fund, and of course, the Dominica Cancer Society. We are also working to develop services here in Dominica. Thanks to the champion of the cause, Professor Kamal Malaka from the Ross University. We hope that soon patients may well travel to Dominica for their first class treatment, rather than having to spend their resources going overseas. By Christmas this year, we expect that the old APU building at the Princess Margaret Hospital will be transformed into a patient-friendly oncology department. Dr. Heather Dyer was the keynote speaker. Dr. Dyer specializes in breast oncology and is currently conducting a study to identify a breast cancer gene. Her address centered on the importance of early detection. We can see why the aim of any disease or pathology is to detect it in its early stages of development. Because the research has proven that prognosis is best when disease is early, de detected early and the disease is localized. That is, it has not metastasized in local parlance, it has not spread. Early intervention can take the form of screening programs for which I know that the society has advocated and continues to advocate tirelessly for. The pap smear for cervical cancer, digital rectal exams for checking on the prostate, the mammogram for breast cancer, colonoscopies for colorectal cancer, and as we speak, more and more screening tests are being developed. President of the Dominica Cancer Society, Vina Roye, expressed her overall satisfaction with Saturday's event, declaring it a great success. We are very satisfied. I'm elated. The members are very happy. We didn't expect that turnout. Okay, Jana, I understood that you're one of the... 500 who participated in this walk um, last Saturday. How was it? What was the experience like? I walked from Massac to the Windsor Park Stadium and I spoke with a few people along the way and everybody thought it was a very good idea. I thought it was a good idea. It was fun. Everybody should support. There was the unity. People were just getting along fine. The air, the vibe was right. I think it was a good idea. It was a good event. I had fun. Okay, what have you learned from that, from that participating in this walk? Because I'm sure that they, apart from the, all the placards and the people with this stuff on their shirts and so on, but speaking of the people themselves, what, what, what was the, using your word, what was the vibe coming from them? The vibe was that early detection actually saves lives. Okay. I'm sure there were a number of cancer survivors in the, in the crowd and their, their message was get screened, um, make sure you visit your doctor regularly and as long as you, the disease is found early enough, you, you, you can be a survivor, you can fight cancer. I also learned, moving, mm -hmm. that when Dominicans believe in something, there's no limit to what they can do because I was very surprised by the numbers I saw at the end of the day at the, at the Windsor Park Stadium. 
What, what about um, talk of the, the diet, for example? As I know when you talk about cancer, there are the people who speak about it, they always say, you know what, it depends on what you eat, for example. It was that something which came up during that event? Well, I have heard Mrs. Ray saying a lot of times that um, cancer survivors and generally people on a whole need to watch your diet very closely, especially cancer survivors. You cannot, you cannot mess up and go wrong. You need to stay strictly on a well-balanced diet. That's what I learned as well. So clearly, um, the fight against cancer, it, it, it's generally moving on the, on the right pace. I think we're on the right track. We, if, if we continue the fight the way that I saw the activity going on Saturday, things will happen. Things will happen. Well, of course, GIS News will bring you more on that rally in a subsequent newscast. And that's the English segment of the news. We now join Marcus and St. Louis for the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en Creole. Non moins, c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominique Kawesi voué en lésin café hot Venezuela. Parole cela sorti au directeur agricole M. Rick Brumant. Selon M. Brumant, plan pour faciliter cela bien avancé. Nous n'y plan Dominique. Euh, nous, nous avons une place pour, pour mettre plan ça là. Et nous avons mettre plan ça là en Gontans, ça c'est euh, euh, station Gontans. Euh, nous avons fait tout le butin. C'est le monde de Venezuela déjà là, déjà qui a gardé contre place là. Et ils sont satisfaits. So, uh, en octobre, plus tard octobre, il y a encore, nous avons commencé à bâtir un plan ça. Ce n'est pas un plan. Ce n'est pas un plan. Nous avons besoin de café pour le plan ça. Pour que là, il y fait certains um, qui nous n'y a assez de café, Dominique. Uh, nous avons établi peut-être plus de 500 à café um, avec les habitants de mon pays là. Um, en place qui, qui, qui ça fait bien un café. Uh, um, uh, Pas de temps ça, nous avons mené café en dedans. Nous avons mené café au um, Nicaragua. Mais, mais quand le café nous a ka, ka, jeté, et nous avons tapé pour dire, ces plans-là, nous avons tiré le um, 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 café là, nous avons mené au Nicaragua. En notre nouvelle, le ministère de l'Agriculture, Honorable Mafia Walter, a remercié le gouvernement France par l'agence CIRAD pour assister Dominique Goumé au compte mauvais maladie Black Sika Toka qui a détruit l'industrie figue et puis banane. Honorable Walter fait parole cela pendant qu'il a visité l'occasion sud et puis sud-est pays là où la maladie sala fréquente. Officier Sirad Cléoma fait parole assistance Dominique Wessivoué Goumé au compte maladie là. Ministre agriculture aussi déjà Wessivoué Bagay l'huile hot Venezuela pour spray l'occasion figue et puis banane qui affecte. À la nouvelle, le ministre agriculture a conduit le programme quarantine à une manière d'empêcher les mauvais virus d'entrer en pays. La parole de la sortie de l'officier quarantine, le ministre agriculture, M. Ryan Ansem. Où ça, mon ça, à l'autre pays, en, en, en 20 minutes. Et bien, avant, on a pris un bateau, ça a été pris un comme six semaines pour aller à leur place. À présent, on sort de China en deux jours. Donc, so, ils travaillent, les gens travaillent plus vite, les um, gens mènent plus de bagages, les gens mènent plus de bagages. C'est ça qui a fait plus de bagages, les gens mènent plus de bagages, les gens mènent plus de bagages. Et pour que nous ayons des gens, ils ont des gens avec d'autres pays, ils ont pour parler avec nous, avec nous qui avons des gens, comment ils ont des bagages. Nous parlons des gens qui allaient dans l'autre pays, ils viennent mener n'importe quoi bagay agriculture produce en pays ya et ni reg et ni comment on s'amène ces bagages ça à entrer et ben nous cas des monde investir species ça sont habitants qui tant ils dangereux même 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 et ben nous pour pour toute mise mettre toute mise en place pour pêcher ces bagages ça à entrer en pays ya et puis finalement on discussion qui que mettez attention à ce traité au bastem qui prend place en Dominique plus tard moi cela Discussion salle qui a expecté pour éditer le public la plus contre le qui a venu en réalité en juillet l'année prochaine. Le gouverneur de la Caribbean Central Bank, Sir Dwight Venner, a expecté pour tenir une discussion là qui a pris place en Hôtel Fortune à Wozo. Quand même si l'on a une parole qui sortit de l'office de la Caribbean Central Bank à Dominic, la discussion salle qui a venu en bon l'air, traité union économique qui a établi en l'année 2010. Plusieurs pays déjà passés ou bien en Chine, mais passés législation qui a concerné le traité Salah.
Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fusson Saint Louis. Au revoir. Up next, the tip of the day. Welcome to this week's edition of Flashback. In the headlines this week, Chinese Shaz de Fer, Kwe Wei Wei, hosted a reception in celebration of the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China at the embassy in Mont Daniel. And over 40 teachers and principals were awarded for their exemplary leadership and passion this week when the annual Excellence in Education Awards was held at the Arawak House of Culture. Displays of Dominica's cultural talents by groups and individuals, both young and old, officially launched the Island Independence 2012 season, which is all about community spirit and cooperation among citizens as the island celebrates 34 years of independence. This week saw the 12th anniversary of the death of Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas, whose life continues to impact significantly on the Dominican landscape. Minister for Community Development Honorable Gloria Schillingford this week applauded Dominicans overseas who continue to contribute to Dominica's progress. The planned quarantine unit of the Ministry of Agriculture in collaboration with CARICOM has put in place a working group to deal with invasive species which have caused significant economic difficulties for Dominica and the rest of the region. The Prime Minister announced this week that construction will soon begin on two massive housing compounds in Bath Estate and Emsol that will provide comfortable and low-cost accommodation for about 60 families. And finally, Agriculture Minister Honorable Matthew Walter and officials from the Ministry of Agriculture set out on a field trip on Wednesday to talk with farmers about the pest management system, policies and regulations for the management of Black Sikatoka. Those were the headline stories which made the news this week. Back to you, Jana. Hello, I'm Felix Anderson, afternoon, and I'm here to tell you why it's better to buy your bad bread looking like this and not like Jabasak, Apigina Puk, Akatina Bag. Come on, if it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Let me show you what I mean. Hello, ma'am. Can you tell me what's in that bag? So you're not seeing it's a brown bread? It looks like one, but you sure it's a brown bread? Eh? Your face looking like the brown bread. Brown and proud. If it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Bakers, consumers, and retailers, please ensure that all your bagged bakery products clearly display brand name, product name, batch number, net contents, country of origin, list of ingredients, expiry date, identification code, and other important information about the product. Check the Dominica Bureau of Standards for details. So, am I right or am I right? Engaging in casual conversation with others may help keep you as sharp as doing a word puzzle. According to some studies, just 10 minutes of daily chatter appears to improve mental function and preserve memory. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions or comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or you can visit our website at news.gov.dm. Or you could visit our GIS Dominica pages on both YouTube and Facebook. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching.